So being back home means more of this too. Just got a big load of mulch. So we'll be taking all of that, bringing it in here, remulching the areas that were mulched, and then continuing to progress it through. Cutting back all this green briar. And when that shoots up, it'll be edible like asparagus. It won't be tough and thorny like this. But continuing to phase across here. This is what I got done before we left. I'm happy with it, but I'm looking forward to continuing on. And just getting this thing cleaned up and looking nicer too. A lot of activity goes on around here. I can't wait. Do you want to help, child? One thing I need is these rocks around these blueberry plants need to be picked up and put over on the dark mulch between those rocks and then I'm gonna remulch this and then we're gonna put them back. And Bugger, you can help too. Did you know that? Yeah. So, in the midst of all this work, I can't help but reflect on a time when a friend of mine and I were out in Oklahoma, I believe, and we were talking to a guy, and uh, we mentioned the number of children that we had. The man said, wow, why you guys got so many children? And my immediate response was, maybe we need a lot of help. And these days, it's kind of rare when people think of uh, children as something that'll kind of cramp their style. It's pretty common. A financial burden, that's pretty common. Ways people view their children. A lot of them kind of look at uh, having a child as getting an 18-year sentence. It's a lot of problems with that view. I won't even dig into them now. But as I look at this, okay, these guys are working hard till the end. Look at that. They're still going. This guy's too, you know, he's, he wants to be involved, he <laughs> wants to be helping, whatever he's capable of, and the other children are taking the time to teach him. It always takes a lot more time to teach somebody than to just do it, but if you just do it, you never teach them, they're never going to know. Whoa, let me see that, that is one beautiful little brown skink. Don't go by the chickens, but there you go. Soon we'll plant some plants here, they'll attract some bugs. You can eat some stuff and have some fun. Oh, yeah. Oh, peeky, peeky, peeky. So here's what we got done anyway. From here, I got one step in stone I'll have to brush off. Coming through there. Persimmon tree, I hope to graft in some uh, Asian ones uh, eventually. Here's the peach tree. Added a couple more stepping stones here. Still working on putting some rocks around here. What we're doing is we're phasing out the smaller rocks, which are better for the rock pillars. That's what you see over here. And we're replacing them with bigger rocks. Rocks that are going to be harder for people, animals, things to move. And what that does is just provides a visual uh, that we have something here. We have something here. Be careful around that area. Don't plow through there. Don't destroy our, our blueberries or whatever it may be. So I've got some of those. I had a couple more stepping stones there. It's never really as much as you would think when I bring home a big load like that. But it's a pretty good area, and I mean, it's it's pretty deep. Some of this is about back to my thumb. Was that six inches? And over time, this is gonna break down and make some nice rich soil. Um, over time, as this stuff matures, well, we may start planting some other stuff in the midst of it. Um, these stepping stones are pretty much a visual for the children to know where to walk through these things and that way as I begin to do other things 
If we can let stuff grow up, they're not going to be messing with stuff, they're not going to be falling into it. They're just going to kind of follow their paths to get their chores done, handle the things we need to around here. And then, like I said, to eventually, we'll just kind of keep phasing through this. I got to do a lot of cleanup, a lot of projects just kind of get finished quickly. It's after dark and then we leave things laying around. But we'll, uh, we'll get there, right child? Oh, that looks pretty good. I can't wait to see it either when it's green. Okay, so you have the contrast of the stones, the green stuff, and the green stuff, and then the mulch. So we'll get there. Monster truck is hard at work up there. Getting some more stones, I think. Son, are you still bringing stones? Or are you just catching lizards? Yeah, I still gotta move all those things. I just... Okay. And then what's mama making today? Mm. What drink did she make that's ready? Kombucha. Kombucha. And she put, um... So kombucha, I just brought her some uh, cranberry juice to mix with it. We uh, got some scobies before from some friends up in Wisconsin. We got some scobies sent to us from Fowler Family Homestead. It's pretty cool folks, we definitely like. Hey, look at that. They're bringing me another bucket. Uh, and uh, on, yeah, there's a lot of good reasons why we like kombucha. Right kids, who likes kombucha? Children. Children, did you hear me? Who likes kombucha? Me! Yeah, that's better. Give those ones some space because the branches are going to stick out too a bit. Good. I've got two buckets. Yeah, you do. Out of the way, Sonny Boy. What did I jump? And I'll be coming over here, I think. Come to Papa. Come here. You got hugs for me? Little Belle, you got hugs for Papa. Come here. Come here. Come here. Why are you being shy? Come here. What are you doing? You're going to knock that 20 pounds of rice on top of you. Come get it. Come on, come on. I thought you were going to be playful. Marilyn, what you hiding in the cupboard? Or the You're closet? You're hiding some kombucha, Marilyn. Kombucha. So this has been in there since before we went to Michigan for a while, huh? Yep, it's been in here for probably two weeks. And a few days. And this is our first kombucha in years. This one is our second kombucha here. Our first one we started when we moved in did not make it. I had that one going for about a year. And as soon as we moved in and switched it, it just it died. So okay. You done better this time? Yes, this time it smelled sweet. The last time I I did it, it did not smell sweet, and it smelled just a bad smell. So I tossed it out just to be safe. What are you making over there with the tortillas? I'm gonna make some tostadas. Uh -huh, tostadas, good. Yep. So, I already pulled this out earlier. And we tried it, but Papa hasn't tried it yet. But it does have that really nice smell, that vinegary. It does have a really nice smell. smell. I like it's that. It kind of smells like sweet vinegary smell. So anyway, we reserved some you're supposed to save about two cups, so, or wait, one cup, I think. So I'm gonna pour some of this out and give Papa some to try. That's for me to try right there? Straight? Yeah, no, um, if you wanna take a sip of it straight, you can. And then... Why is kombucha even something people eat or drink? Has probiotics. Wow. And it's been too long. Lots of other health benefits. <laughs> I, um, I would drink it straight. I do. Let me try it. Yeah. That's good stuff. Mm, it still it? tastes kind of sweet. Can I, I guess we could have gotten a little bit more, but it still does have a little zing, don't you think? I think. Yeah. But it still tastes sweet. Just another little sip. Mm. I guess we could have let it go. 
maybe even a little bit longer too. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess <laughs> to add She was going to try to mix it up with some cranberry Never juice. Mind. But that's not necessary for me. I'll take it full strength. But that's what you got in here or what? Um, yeah, so this is the another batch of the tea that I'm gonna toss in with this oh. scoby to do another batch. Here we go, little guy. And recently we received some scobies in the mail from the Fowler family homestead. That is correct. And uh, what a great gift. I love these too because it kind of keeps this mother scoby, just kind of keeps growing over time, right? Mm-hmm. All right. Yep, so I'm just gonna add this next tea here. Can you put that in the sink, please? And we'll, just I will hold pour it still. that right in there. Well, you just be careful. I think you're actually supposed to put mom, mom out. Does pour it matter? It. She's supposed to go on top. I don't know if it matters or not. You can pour it in slow from the <laughs> side so it slides so, underneath her. Oh boy. I don't know how well that's going to work out. Yeah, your aim's not very good. Okay, so I'm just going to pull her out. I'm going to put her in the bowl here. I washed my hand and just plopped her in there. Just so I can do it right. Mm. Just got to do it right. It'll taste better if it looks right. And so, then we're just going to pour our second batch of brewed tea. Where did it go? On the stove. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, I am so happy to be back in the kombucha. I don't know if that's going to work. Let's get a funnel. Just to be safe, we must just use a funnel. I know I've got plastic here, but it's going to be okay. Oh, not too bad. It's going right in, in the hole. <laughs> Even better. Alright, so I'll just pour that in. So I tried not to make too much. You're supposed to have, you know, make a gallon, but I try not to make too much so that she has enough space to sit at the top. She's not very big, but with past experience, I just wanted to make sure I didn't overdo it. So whatever it makes, it makes. And just pop her in there. And we'll just let her sit. Mm. Oh, I should have added more water, but we'll just let it go like that. And next time we'll do a better job. Excellent. Is there more that we made before that's somewhere? You got a jar of it, right? Yes. So I have uh -huh. some already mixed up with some cranberry juice. For a moment, I thought they only saved me that tiny little thimble full and that they drank the rest of it. They were drinking it up earlier, but we do have some. And that's mixed with the cranberry juice in there. So a lot of times you can get them at the stores and they got different flavors. Pineapple ginger or other things. Berries, tart and tangy cherry. Oh, it smells so good too. I think, yeah, we'll go a little bit stronger next time too. So that it tastes tartar when it's just all by itself. Cool. And tostados tonight, huh? Yep. All right. Shut down the video, tostados darling. Tostados for later. All right, everybody. Catch you later. Mom out.